Democrat, John Yarmouth now. He's also a member of the House Budget Committee. Congressman, uh, good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for joining us. We uh, just heard right. from Kristen Welker. We know, we know a little bit about what's in this plan. Based on what you've heard, is the plan big enough? Well, it may be big enough depending on what the elements are. I, I think Kristen really hit on the most important point, though, and that is what the president's going to need to do is to explain to the American people how this will impact them directly. That's one thing we always fail to do. We talk a lot about economic theory and big numbers, but one of the problems with the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act was a lot of Americans didn't understand how it affected their lives. And that's what I think most, most citizens are looking for. So the elements, I think, are less important important than making that critical uh, point to the to the average citizen. What, uh, which president needs to show up tonight? Kristen just alluded <laughs> to the, the tone of the speech. Do you want to see the, the, the fighter in chief coming out swinging or, or do you want to see the president that we've seen a lot over the past few months, uh, the compromiser in chief come out tonight? No, I think we need a president who has clarity, who has a, a very clear direction, and is confident in the plan and, and what, how it will improve people's lives. It needs to be a leadership uh, speech. Somebody has to show the American people a direction out of this very, very uh, tough time we have. And, and so I don't think it's combative necessarily, right. but I think it has to be very decisive and clear. I, I want to uh, turn to political feasibility for a second here. I'm going to play, play a piece of sound here from uh, House Majority Leader Eric Cantor this morning. I'm, I'm going to get your reaction on the other side. Take a listen. We know that Republicans and Democrats are not going to agree on everything. But I do think that the people of my district and this country expect the fact that we're not going to let those differences get in the way of coming together for common sense solutions. Specifically here, what are you guys going to be able to agree on with the GOP? Well, you know, as long as the GOP in, in this time basically says the only thing that they want to do is get the government out of the way, both in terms of making investments in the economy and in regulating where it needs to be regulated, uh, we're going to have a tough coming to an agreement. My business community in Louisville, Kentucky is very clear. They think the government has a very important role to play in investing in the future of this company and uh, country and creating jobs. Uh, as long as, as it's kind of, we don't need the government, the government has no role, then I think we're going to have a tough time. But I don't think the American people believe that, and I certainly don't think my business community thinks that. Uh, and, and so we've got, we're going to have a tough negotiating process. But uh, again, I think the, the congressional Republicans, particularly in the House, are very much out of touch with uh, many of their own supporters. And uh, that's what I'm hearing from my people back home. All right, Kentucky Democrat John Yarmouth. Thanks. Congressman, thank you for your time. Appreciate you. My pleasure, Craig. And folks, don't forget, you can watch the